Hello fellow flat simmers, another short video on another Phoenix update version 2.1.4 that has just been released to fix some issues and in particular with the adjusted flap 3 drag values. Remember the last video that I made, um, I was definitely criticizing that and then they adjusted some stuff with the flare mode and the ground mode transition logic, the nose down controller, etc, etc. I was particularly interested in having a look at the Phoenix um, config three values with landing gear down and level flight. And also then of course on final approach um, around 60 tons gross weight to see if the Phoenix pitch and power values now match up with the real world values. Now for this, we're gonna use some real world checklist um, values here from the unreliable airspeed checklist. And that way we can compare uh, properly the Phoenix values to the real aircraft. I'm using the FSI panel to help me set up the uh, approaches. So what we've done is we've set a gross weight of 60 tons. And here we're gonna try now pitch and power values for level flight config three, landing gear down. And then uh, we'll have a look at how the aircraft stabilizes. And uh, so we got 140 knots here. Uh, the pitch is around, well, let's uh, just let it stabilize first. Uh, but it looks like it's going to be stabilizing around 5 degree pitch nose up. And uh, also we'll check the power setting. There it is, it's about 61.5, 62% I would say. The real values would normally be a 7 degree pitch up um, at 64% N1 at a gross weight of 60 tons and stable at 140 knots. So that wasn't too far off from the real world values. Now let's compare it to final approach. So three degree glad slope and pretty much no wind. Kinich 1013 at 15 degrees Celsius. So standard values. And again, we have about 60 tons gross weight. So let's uh, stabilize the aircraft. And that looks about two and a half degree, maybe three degree pitch nose up, 45% N1. And let's compare that to the real world values. Um, pitch should be around about four degrees and the power setting about 50% N1. I've taken out the auto thrust just to make sure that I can manually set the power. I'm gonna go manual flight here as well. But it looks like um, still the values aren't 100% correct. Um, I would like to see the four degree pitch nose up. Um, two and a half degree is definitely not enough for config three setting. And um, yeah, power should be around 50%. Um, so we're still below what it should be. Now let's have a look at some uh, landings, especially the flare behavior uh, with my good old settings at 30% uh, sensitivity or reactivity, I should say. Uh, the rest is linear for the curves. And um, I've done a couple of landings. And one thing I've noticed is that, 500. yes, the flare behavior has um, changed a little bit. Now what I'm missing is the kind of nose down um, moment where you have to continuously pull back on the stick just a little bit to keep the nose from uh, from dropping i.e to simulate a conventional aircraft when you reduce the thrust and you bleed off some airspeed and that is normally done through the flare mode of the um, fly by wire system um, yeah so coming into the flare just a little bit uh, of stick input required and then i literally let go of the stick and yes, it settles down nicely. People will be happy because it's going to be able to really do some beautiful greasers. But um, people always ask me, does this you know, represent real aircraft? And if I'm honest, I would have to say, no, it doesn't quite represent it yet. So please, please, please don't take this as criticism. Um, I still think it's a great add-on. And yes, um, the landing isn't quite like in the real aircraft, but still, it's nice. People will enjoy it. Um, don't get hung up about these, um, you know, little inaccuracies. 
What I would like to see, however, is a continuous improvement of those pitch and power values to represent the real aircraft. Now, I really hope with the version 2 update coming in September, uh, beginning October, that uh, with the new engine simulation, and that way the developers will have more um, possibilities to accurately then simulate the correct pitch and power values. Uh, we shall see. Once that uh, version is released, I'll check it again and give you guys some update on the uh, behavior of that one. Until then, as always, thank you so much for all the support. Thanks for watching and have happy landings.